meteorologist Ron Rose. <laughs> you know what? Don't ever challenge Stacy May to a hula hooping contest. You will lose unless somebody actually hits her hula hoop while she's doing it. Then, then you will. <laughs> hey, we've got a little bit of rain out there. A little bit, the key words there, because it's been less than a tenth of an inch at the Evansville Airport. And really, our best chance for rain has come and gone. As you can see, the traffic out there on the Twin Bridges. Yeah, the bridges, the roads are damp, but uh, not a whole lot of puddles out there. We just haven't had enough rain for that. But every drop of that rain, chilly, no doubt about that, with the temperatures in the 40s, when the rain was falling, downtown Owensboro under the gray sky, the blue bridge, and now we're looking at our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. And of course, that is from Deaconess Gateway, looking at the east side of Evansville. And, and yeah, I mean, the traffic's out there. It's moving pretty nicely, and you can see it's a little damp out there, too. I expect to see a little bit of sunshine in parts of the tri-states later on today. And I really think north of the Ohio, we're going to get some breaks out there. Better dose of sunshine comes tomorrow afternoon, but really the first two days of this week are fairly gray. South wind at 7 miles an hour. Temperature's up to 51. We had dipped down uh, to 49 a couple of hours ago, kind of inching its way up. But once we get the rain to kind of taper off a little more, the clouds break up some, we are going to be noticing that, yeah, that temperature should be up around 60 for a high later today. 49 degrees in Owensboro, 49 in Henderson, 50 in Jasper, 54 in Princeton. Look at that. 54 degrees in Carmi. Kind of helps to have a few breaks in the clouds, and they are getting a few breaks in the clouds up in Flora, and now they're up to 57 degrees. So nice to see. Temperatures will be a little cooler uh, down to the south where there's a better chance for rain and there'll be more clouds. clouds are going to be pretty stubborn down in western Kentucky. Check this out. On Saturday evening, we had a beautiful rainbow. And this is from Brenda Rankin in Elberfeld, which is, of course, in the northwest corner of Warwick County, right there just off of 64. And look at that shot. Love that. Uh, and, you know, you got just that arc there. And if it's the primary bow is bright enough or vivid enough, you can't see the secondary bow. It's always there. You can't always see it. But you can see it's faint, but it's there, that secondary rainbow. So a double bow over Elberfeld. That was on Saturday evening. Saturday was no day to brag about, but at the same time, it ended on a really good note. And then it was kind of a harbinger of what was to come for the back half of the weekend, a beautiful Sunday. Have a little bit of rain still cutting through the Amazon Metro. Now we're starting to see some light rain. Southern Warwick County, also Southern Spencer County. And that's about the heaviest rain on the board. Now, we still could see some spotty showers from here, but the best chance for rain has really kind of worked its way out of the picture. Yeah, not even uh, any moderate pockets out there. This is all light rain, most of it south of Boonville and Warwick County. You can see kind of cutting through the Hatfield area in southern Spencer County. Rio catching a little bit of rain right now, too. Rockport, you're seeing the rain here in a matter of minutes. Uh, most of the rain now it's out in the region running down to the south. Notice how we're seeing some breaks in the clouds, though, up to the northwest. And that's the reason why temperatures up to the northwest are warmer. And that's going to be the case, really. We see a few breaks right now, though, right along the Wabash and in the Princeton area. And, of course, they're... Uh, Three degrees warmer than Evansville right now. Showers and thunderstorms, a severe threat like it has been over the past couple of weeks. It's pretty much going to be down to our south. And Texas, they could see some really impressive hailstorms uh, later on today in Texas. Got also severe threat in Louisiana and Mississippi. Really areas that have been hit hard by severe weather already this spring. And they've got it really over the next three days. Uh, as we take a look at storm track, you can see the rain kind of running almost due east. And that's the way it's been here in the tri-state. Future track does indicate a few showers out there in the afternoon. The latest run bumping it up just a little bit, especially in western Kentucky. But notice how we have the breaks in the clouds up to the north. And really by, you know, mid to late afternoon, I think we're going to be seeing a, a pretty good dose of sunshine in a lot of places along and north of the river, not so much down to the south. And you can see a few showers out there. Then the rain chance starts to pick up a little bit more as we head into evening. And really, the rain is going to be more impressive overnight tonight. And as we head into tomorrow, you can see some heavier pockets. Not expecting anything severe over the next couple of days. And you can see that heavier rain first thing in the morning, mainly along and north of the river, and then lifting north of 64. By 2.30 tomorrow afternoon, starting to see some breaks down to the south. And then we've got clearing late afternoon and early evening. So for a good-looking sunset, let's hope, tomorrow afternoon. So again, we'll have a better dose of sunshine for all of us tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, here comes some more rain, unfortunately, on the board. Rainfall forecast, I mean, we've seen less than a tenth of an inch, about five one hundredths at the Evansville Airport, and it's still coming down. But, yeah, we might see about an inch to an inch and a quarter, I think, for a lot of locations. And a severe risk tomorrow, it's not there, no severe risk today. But on Wednesday, just the southeastern corner of the tri-state is in that marginal risk for severe weather, and that's Ohio.
Ohio and Muhlenberg counties, but really the stronger storms will be down to the southeast of us. And really, that's going to be kind of the case uh, throughout the next three days. 60 degrees for a high, banking on a little bit of sunshine later on this afternoon. Scattered showers out there, but there'll be fewer and farther between from here on out, with a south-southwest wind at 5 to 15. On the three-degree guarantee, I called for a high Friday of 51, got up to 49, and that is a three-degree guarantee winner. Kim Rockhill of Newburgh. Congratulations, Kim. You got yourself either. Yes, let's hear for Kim. <laughs> Bravo! All you have to do is sign up. That's it. <laughs> Pretty easy. Uh, but don't come get your prize this week because Pam Simpson is on vacation. She is uh, the keeper of the goodies. I mean, she takes care of all the prizes. She's in front. I mean, she does a lot of other things, too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> she is tr yep. truly the Swiss Army knife yep. of Eyewitness Holds News. Holds us together. Uh, she does. Uh, 60 today, okay. 65 tomorrow, 60 on Wednesday. Yeah. So the temperature's not too bad. It's going to be the fact that we've got good chances for rain over the next few days. And then our Sundays, man. We are on a Sunday, we are on a roll. roll when Stacy is inside at the <laughs> studio right. doing the weather. I get to the tell weather. all the good news. All right. Well, we're going to be right back after this with more local lifestyles. Stay where you are.